Inventory, the Buying Details window. The Buying Details window will be available if an item is checkmarked as I Buy. The last purchase price is set by recording a bill or order with a cost. The standard cost is a number we can enter. When we create purchases, we have the option of using the last purchase price or the standard cost as the default. That's controlled by a checkbox in the Preferences. If this box is checkmarked, we'll use the standard cost when we create purchases. We can override the cost when we're actually creating the purchase. We can indicate whether or not we pay sales tax when we purchase this item. If this box is checkmarked, Account Edge will add sales tax for the item purchase at the rate indicated on the vendor card. We would indicate the buying unit of measure, for example, a case. Then we would indicate a quantity in the case. When we purchase this item, we will purchase by the case. If we sell individually, one purchase will give us a quantity on hand of 24 in this example. Optionally, we can set the minimum quantity for a stock alert. When our quantity on hand falls to this value or below, we'll get a restocking alert which can be seen in the to-do list. And that list will be displayed when we start Account Edge. That's also controlled by a preference. We'll set the primary vendor and that vendor's item number. If we purchase from this vendor, this item number will be displayed on the printed or emailed purchase order. If we create a purchase order for this item for another vendor, Account Edge will not use this vendor item number. On printed or email purchase orders, we can indicate whether to use our item number or the vendor item number for items. Check the form customization video for details on that capability. The number of items per buying unit and the minimum level for restocking alert fields are available for inventoried items. Finally, we can set a default order quantity. Account Edge will automatically fill in the quantity on a purchase order with the value in this field.